welcome back. This is Veterans Honor to Prosperity, and I'm your host, Master Sergeant Retired, Anna Maria Bliven. And in today's studio, we are so privileged to have Erica Slayton from, I'm going to say Military One Source, but she's from a lot of places that are here for family and military community support, which is, oh my goodness, I can't tell you how deeply grateful I am that we're having you on this show because we are now going to talk about something that is near and dear. And the near and dear part is the non-medical counseling. We know that there are stresses and strain for the military experience, for deployment, for mobilization, for when we are in top secret situation and we can't talk about what it is that we do. Just that non-communication adds stress to the stress. And in addition to that, sometimes we're on orders and we are overseas and we get extended orders. And where the expectations are blown to smithereens because you thought we were only going to be there for nine months. Now we're going to be there for 18 months and the family is in turmoil. Please tell us, where can we go when we really are in those situations and especially the stress and, and transitioning out of the military? What, what, the, what I just described is an everyday thing. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. You know, our military community is uh, faced with so many unique challenges that only someone who has served in uniform or served beside someone in uniform uh, understands. And so oftentimes there are those stresses related to military life, as you mentioned, separation, a deployment, uh, you know, j- just a movement, period. And so what we offer through Military One Source is non-medical counseling, it's confidential. And we're often asked, what is non-medical counseling? Well, you know, we we coined that phrase when we stood up Military One Source because we really wanted to distinguish it between uh, medical counseling for more longer term uh, support. So what confidential non-medical counseling is, is designed to address those everyday military life issues, just as you've talked about. In fact, the number one reason why people reach out to a counselor is for relationship issues. It's for those intimate partner relationship issues. But our counselors can address communications, um, adjusting to a deployment, blended family issues. Maybe, you know, maybe you and your spouse are having uh, a few, you know, challenges and you know, need to just work through those. So that's where a counselor can come in. And especially, as I mentioned, if you're transitioning out of the military and, you know, the whole family is bringing, you know, you're bringing the whole family (laughs) along um, or it's just you, then it's certainly being able to talk through those situations with a counselor is uh, very much uh, a, a, a reality for many and can be a very great source of support. We offer counseling, uh, face-to-face uh, in the local community, also online through our like online chat. We also offer it by telephone and by video. So whether you're overseas or stateside, we can certainly provide uh, various you know, modalities to support you um, and support the family as well. I am so glad to hear this because um, there's a lot of people out there that need your help. Mm-hmm. And they believe, though, that they can't reach out because they don't qualify for VA. Let's take care of that right now. Yeah, you know, for Military One Source, I I mentioned that there is no, um, we we don't cut you all off right after you're you're done from the military, but you have a whole year after separation or retirement from the military to use all of Military One Source resources. We are separate from the VA. Uh, We have different eligibility criteria. And so if you have served in uniform and you are transitioning out, you can still use our resources up to one year post-separation. Now that takes care of the spouse relationship. What about a child? A child might have some questions too. 
Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, for a child, we also offer uh, non-medical counseling. In fact, in this COVID environment, we expanded our services specifically for uh, children for non-medical counseling to include video counseling. And previously, it was only for those face-to-face uh, counseling sessions in a family context. But uh, again, we saw the need, of, especially in this environment with so many different changes, school changes, adjustments, you know, mask, no mask, you know, th- that's a lot, that's a lot for a child. And so what we did was for children who are between six and 12 years old, in addition to the face-to-face counseling, they can have video counseling with a counselor, again, in a family context. Uh, so the family, you know, the whole family has to be a part of the video counseling session. For teens, they can take advantage of video non-medical counseling on their own. So those who are 13 to 17 uh, can take advantage of it. The only thing is at the very start of every counseling session, a parent or guardian has to come on and say, yep, I give you permission. And then that teen can have that counseling session uh, with the counselor. Again, we want to ensure that we're supporting every member of our military community. That's the service member, the spouse, uh, and the child. And I will even extend that to service providers because they are also key to helping us raise awareness about these different resources as well. I'm glad you said that because uh, in the case of some military, especially that are seriously wounded, they have caregivers. And so I'm sure if they have questions, they need your services. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, one of the other services we offer through Military One Source is um, is our Wounded Warrior Resources. And so for those who may have uh, questions about a benefit or entitlement or maybe have not or are not receiving a benefit or entitlement because of some type of issue, and they can call Military One Source and we will facilitate a plan of action within uh, four business days, we'll reach out to our points of contact. Maybe that's through the VA, maybe it's TRICARE, maybe it's through Wounded Warrior programs uh, to just to help that service member or maybe that caregiver connect the dots so that that issue can be resolved. So that is a, that is one resource that we offer through Military One Source, our Wounded Warrior resources, that it doesn't matter if you've been out of the military for one year or if you've been out of the military for 10 years, we are, we are there to uh, facilitate any issues you have with obtaining entitlement, a benefit, or you know maybe it's a healthcare related issue. That's a music to uh, my ears, as well as I'm sure a lot of our listeners, because um, I was just told a very sad story a few days ago of a comrade that was, um, was not taken care of. Mm -hmm. And had this comrade listened to what you just said, maybe a month ago, he'd still be with us Mm. because his paperwork got lost and he gave up. And if we have a situation like that occurring and we were to call your service, you would help us get that going. And so that um, what he was entitled to, he would have received. So uh, this is a case in point, audience. We have this resource and Erica is telling us all about it, but it's, you gotta go a little bit more than just knowing about this resource. You have to actually reach out and receive it. And so right after these messages, we're gonna talk about that. So don't go away.